So my con story is I was looking for a phone, of course, because my previous one was stolen, like all the other ones. So I was trying to get a phone and then my friend told me, I know a guy I can hook you up with in town who can help you get a new phone, but obviously cheaper. And I was like, uh, no, because conned. But he told me, no, 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 I bought from this guy before, it's cool. You go there, the guy who was selling to him, referred him to his boy. And he's like, his boy is the one who sells the phones now, but he's legit. I was like, cool. So we go there, I look for a phone. It's kind of more expensive than I wanted, but I could still afford it. So I was just like, cool. So he gives me the phone, I start going through it. We switch it on. I check everything, the charger, the earphones, everything was working, accessories. And I switch it on and I'm like, okay, cool. So as I'm <laughs> like, okay, maybe I should switch my SIM card from this old one to the new one. So I'm like, let me get my phone. And I'm here just trying to like move. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, let me pack it for you. You can go by the shop and die in the CB way. I was like, okay, sour, actually. Yeah, since I've already confirmed. So I'm here looking into my bag, trying to get the money. I'm like, oh my God, my money is cash. Oh my God, so much money. So as I'm doing all of that, of course, this guy at some point has switched it out. And he switches it out, same packaging, so fast that when he still opens it and tells me, no, no, I'm not going to earphones, charger. I was like, cool, thanks. So I take it and I go home so happy that I have a new phone. And I go to remove it and put the SIM card now and experiment and charge it for that 24 hours. And the thing is so heavy. So I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Just for some reason, I don't know what they do, but it goes on. But that's about it like it goes on and then it goes off and it's so bloody heavy and you check inside it's like cement sijit stone sijit and the phone was so happy i was just like yeah clearly this is fraud and that is pretty much how i lost thousands of shillings and got a brick for a phone and <laughs> i had no new phone and so i had to look for money for a new one which I proceeded to buy and it would literally die in every every 20 minutes because apparently that was a brand new phone. So I was gone basically twice. And yeah, so I stuck with a kabambe for a while until, until <laughs> I was like, screw this shit. I don't want a new phone. I don't. So yeah, kabambe is a fight. Yeah, and, and um, couldn't find the guy. And he recorded that story like nobody's business. And then he told me it wasn't even him who was selling it. He got it from the guy next door. Round and round and round. And I just knew that's my money gone and that was it. So... Nothing. I cried and called my brother and cried some more. And I left it at that because he was just like, you're such an idiot. Why would you? He's like, oh my God, how many times have I told you, man? And he just laughed and laughed and laughed. And he just told me, just to tell you that story. Like, you're not going to get your money back. And obviously those guys are not going to give you your money. They're not even going to, where's the receipt? How do we know you bought it here? Yeah, so I did absolutely nothing. But cry and wish them ill. <laughs> and that rats eat them in the middle of the night. I don't know. Like, that's the best I could do. I was just like, I hope you're eaten by rats. So that's it. Yeah. So guys, Janjaruka Uskoniwe. I mean, you know it's Nairobi and this is gonna happen every time, all the time. So yeah, this is smarter than me. <laughs> Look out for the new web series called Janjaruka and it's online right now. Catch you there.